Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your very own Wave Swinger. Now this classic ride is featured in almost every amusement park. It's very simple, just swings going around in a circle with a little bit of up and down movement. And this tutorial should be pretty simple as well. You might notice some similarities between this tutorial and my Wind Seeker tutorial. They are similar concepts, this is just going to be a much smaller version. So to get started, we first are going to build any type of tracked ride. I'm just going to pick the looping coaster to start, and then we need to build the station two units above the surface, so at 10 feet. We're going to do two station pieces, a curved track, then a banked track. Now we need to turn on some cheats, so we're going to do allow chain lifts on all track pieces, show all operating modes, unlock operating limits, allow arbitrary ride type changes, show vehicles from other track types, and then disable vehicle limits. And then we need to disable clearance checks. And then now we can turn the chain lift on for the track and do an upward helix. And we're going to build a few of those up to a height of 35 feet. And then we're going to just do a normal turn, two of those, and then downward helixes all the way back down to 10 feet, and then we do a straight track unbanked. You can turn the chain lift off now if you want, and then a turn back into the station. We'll build our entrance and exit. And then for the ride vehicles, now I will show you the easiest way first, and that is to do one train with 33 cars per train. This is the easiest way, but it's not the way I recommend, so I'll show you another way in a second. But we will change the vehicle type to the swinging floorless cars. And then now with the operating mode, we are going to change it to the powered launch passing station. And I'm going to set the launch speed to something like 13 or 11 miles per hour. But more importantly, we want the lift chain speed to be 25 miles per hour. And now we can put the ride in test mode and it's going to operate just how we want it. I'm going to hide the track so we can see it a little bit better. It does seem like quite the mess of vehicles with 33 of them all going around in a circle. but. This is basically the same method I used in the Wind Seeker tutorial with a few little differences. Very simple, you can get the ride up and running pretty quickly. The stats aren't very good, so we need to change the ride to the Mine Ride. And then now we're going to get some pretty good stats here. But it's a very short ride cycle, so let's add a few circuits onto it. I like to go with three, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. And then now we need to make the track invisible, so let's change the paint color to the invisible color and the ride's gone. So the ride is almost ready to be opened, except I'm now gonna show you what I actually like to do with the ride vehicles. So I'm gonna close it and now change the ride vehicles to the wooden roller coaster trains and set it to 23 cars per train. And then now we can test it, and in test mode, we will see that there's gonna be one small problem. The trains are gonna operate as they should, except this train is a little bit too long, so the front of the train is going to run into the back of the train and get stuck right about now. So to fix this problem, we're going to open the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. If you don't have it, the link is in the video description. And then we are going to select the ride here and then change the ride vehicles to the swinging floorless cars and hit Apply Vehicles to All Trains. And then now we're going to go to Vehicle 1 and look at its track progress because we have to move it backwards. So Vehicle 1 is at track progress 7, but Vehicle 2 is at track progress 98. So on Vehicle 1, we're going to move it backwards to the Vehicle 2 track progress of 98 so they will be on top of each other. So when we unpause the game, it's not stuck anymore and it can operate as it should. The only problem is it's going to pick up too much speed. So you can see here it's going about 35 miles per hour at the bottom, which is too fast. So to fix that, we want it to go at 25, 26 miles per hour. So right now with the chain lift, it's going as it should, but when it goes downhill, it picks up speed. So for vehicle one, we can change it to the Cheshire Cats because they are a powered vehicle. So they have a set maximum speed, so they won't go any faster, except in this case, when the chain lift is overriding it. And then we go to the variant and change it to the invisible variant. So you don't see that cat vehicle. So now the ride is operating how we want it. And it's gonna stay at that even 25, 26, 27 mile per hour speed that the chain lift is keeping it at and then we can change the number of circuits to whatever we'd like and then all that's left to do is open the tile inspector and i'm going to select the entrance building here and then lower it down to the surface level copy it and then delete it move it back one tile and we're going to paste it there and i'm going to hit make usable and now we can do the same thing with the exit copy the building delete it i'm going to paste it back here and make sure it's lowered down to the surface level and hit make usable. 
And then now we can also select the track, the station, and hit invisible. And then do the same thing for the other station track, make it invisible. And then add a little bit of scenery. I chose this apple tree variety. I think it looks kind of fun. And we can make the entrance and exit building invisible here. And now we have our working ride. It's that simple. Great stats, almost a little overpowered. Actually, I want to lower that nausea rating. So what I can do is open the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin, and then I'll select the ride, and then hit the Edit Ride button in the upper right corner, and then hit Freeze Rating Calculation. And then I can actually set the multiplier to 100, and then lower the nausea rating, and that's going to update the ride stats. However, if I were to change something like the number of circuits and cause the ride to recalculate the stats, it's going to cause a little issue because it's not going to be able to recalculate the rating so I have to remember to turn off the freeze rating calculation checkbox there and then my ratings will populate in. Now if you don't want to build the ride yourself you can download the track the link is in the video description below and you'll select the mine ride and then you'll select wave swinger and then make sure you have disable clearance checks turned on and whatever cheats and then you need to build the ride Put it into test mode to populate the vehicles and close it. Open the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin, select the ride, and then move vehicle 1 to wherever the vehicle 2 track progress is, so they're on top of each other. Then change the vehicles to the swinging floorless cars, hit apply to all vehicles, change vehicle 1 to Cheshire Cats in the invisible variant, then we can test the ride. You can update the launch speed, and if you need to update the chain lift speed, you need to change the ride type to something with a chain lift, and then you can change it back to the mine ride make the station and the entrance and exit buildings invisible and you're good to go. Now the ride just needs a queue line and some scenery. I always decorate mine to look like an apple tree because it's fun and silly, but feel free to come up with your own scenery designs. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to take a break from my Rainbow Towers ride tutorial videos and instead talk about my top five pro tips to help you elevate your gameplay in OpenRCT2. So stay tuned.